All right, um, I just opened my database and um, the way I opened it was going to localhost slash php my admin. If this URL is not available in your system, it means that your server is not running. Make sure your WAMP server is running. I'm using WAMP server because I'm on Windows. If you're on Mac, uh, you should use any other server. And this is not a beginner tutorial, so I'm not going to uh, go through how to install a, a server, all right? So once my database has opened, um, I'm going to create the database for this. So we're going to call it Socialite. Socialite database. I'm going to click create. It's created. Cool. So we're going to go back to our Laravel installation in the EMV file in the database. So we're going to call the database Socialite. And the username is root. And there is no password. All right. So yours should be this. If you just installed your server, yours should be this exactly. Too. So now we have this. The next thing we're going to do is to actually uh, run an, a migration. Because if you look at this place, uh, tables, migrations, you see that Laravel comes with two migrations, all right? So let's run the migration first. So we'll go to our command line. Uh, we will just have to create another command line, all right? Because um, obviously this, we can't, st we don't want to stop this. So we go back to our socialite folder. Remember how we'll create our command line? You hold your shift key, right click, and then open command window here. So from here, we're going to try and um, run migration. So we do php artisan migration. In case you don't know what, oops, migrate, php artisan migrate. In case you don't know what migration is, it is basically um, a way to create tables on, on our database from a file that we've written before. So we have errors, and that error is a uh, syntax error set violation. Uh, specify key was too long, all right? Uh, so once you have this error, most most likely you're going to see this error on your system too. So you're just going to copy it and paste in Google and find the solution I'm going to show you now. So make sure you're online. All right, click. It's a Laravel issue for um, some MariaDB platforms. All right, so we've seen the very first solution. On Laracast, we click on it, and then if you scroll down this page, it's gonna show you the exact solution somewhere here. Um, so it says here you need to go to your boot method in your app service provider and paste this. All right, so we're gonna copy this out, uh, go to our boot method. In the app service provider is inside your app folder inside your providers you see app service provider so we're space we're looking for the boot method look at the boot method so we're going to paste this here that's not all we're going to have to import schema uh, up here so um, there's a way we can import schema so right here we're going to copy this and put at the top of this same file so we are back here um, if you've set up Laravel before, this is just a normal thing for you. This wouldn't be new to you. So w once we've done this, we save. And once we save, we can get right back and run our migration again. PHP Artisan Migrate. So if we run into an error, face the view, view already exists. So we need to run this uh, refresh. PHP Artisan Migrate Fresh. The reason is that the first time we ran it and we ran into error, it actually created a, a table halfway. So if we click on uh, structure, we're going to see that the table, see two tables have been created, but the third one ran into an error. So when we use PHP Artisan Migrate uh, Fresh, it deletes all this table and creates a new one. So we're going to hit this. And good. So as you can see, the migration has completed. So if we click on fresh to refresh this table, we'll now see that there are three tables here. So the next thing we're going to do is to actually create. Um, we're going to have to create a user registration and login system. All right. Um, Laravel does that automatically for us. So to do that, you have to do PHP artisan make auth. Laravel will create the whole username, control everything, and even views for us, all right? So this has been done successfully, which means if we run our app again, our app is running, right? Um, from what we have here. Um, from what we have here, our server is running. So if we go to this place and uh, refresh, uh, keep your eye here when we refresh. 
there is a login page and there's a register page so what we're trying to achieve in this video tutorial is if we click on the register page instead of people just signing up with their registration they can sign up with facebook login you understand so in the next video we're going to add the button and then we'll proceed to install a larva package called scout that will help us to install every other thing all right so thank you very much we'll test this form in the next video then we'll go ahead